Gentlemen, Antonio here. Today we're gonna to talk about t-shirts. In particular, I'm gonna give you five tips so that you can look great every time you wear a t-shirt. People have asked me about t-shirts and to write it, put a video out about this for a long time. And I resisted because I have certain, in the first two tips, you'll understand why, because I do have an older video out there in which I talk about t-shirts and why they're not right for a number of men. And me personally, I feel it's a trend that's a bit overplayed. A lot of guys, when you look at their wardrobe, it's nothing but t-shirts. So I resisted putting out that information because I felt polos, button downs, sports jackets. There's so many other things you can use to cover your upper torso and look great. However, I know a lot of you guys, especially in the hot weather, especially in parts of the world where t-shirts are everywhere that you want to wear them. So for you, I've put out this video so that you can look great when you're actually wearing a t-shirt. So tip number one for looking great in a t-shirt is to wear it when it's appropriate. A t-shirt is always casual. doesn't matter if you spent $100 on that t-shirt, maybe the nicest t-shirt in the world, and it may look great on you, but you know what? If you wear it to the wrong occasion, to an event in which they actually had a dress code, let's say a wedding, and they said, you know, we'd like for you to share this day with us. Everyone is going to be wearing suits. They're going to be wearing sports jackets. You show up in that great looking t-shirt. Guess what, guys? You look like a fool because you're not showing respect to the bride and groom, and you're not dressing appropriately. So that is the key, guys. If you're out in Vegas and you want to go to the clubs at night, you're going to probably want to not wear a t-shirt out there. A lot of these clubs, they've got a little bit higher of a dress code and they will reject. Now, many times you can wear a t-shirt. Just look around casually around town. If you're going out, you're going to be seeing maybe the sights in Washington, D.C. outside in the summer. Yes, perhaps then a t-shirt is going to be great. But guys, pay attention. Make sure that it is appropriate to actually wear it. Tip Number two, make sure you've got the body for it. Guys, understand a t-shirt is not going to do you any favors. If you've got extra weight around the midsection, if you have really thin arms, a t-shirt is not going to hide that. It's not going to make your arms look any bigger. So understand that there are certain body types that are not going to look great in a t-shirt. Now, if you take care of yourself, you go to the gym, you are young, you're in excellent shape, you have a chest that is larger than your midsection, then you can probably pull off a t-shirt. Me, I'm five foot nine, got a relatively thin build, I'm 170 pounds, and I go to the gym and I run. So I can wear a t-shirt. I'm still a pretty thin guy. I don't think it looks as great on me as a button-up shirt or a sports jacket, and I don't feel this really sends the signal I want to for my business, but I can still pull it off. And if you want to improve your body, I'm going to link to down in the description below, Ryan Masters, Tom Venuto, Abel James. These guys are amazing. They put out good information. They are all personal friends of mine. And these guys focus on nutrition, which is key if you want to actually get your body to look great and actually weight resistance and types of training like that. So guys, go check them out. So tip number three, nail the fit. All right, guys, you don't want to do alterations on a t-shirt. Make sure when you buy it, it actually fits you. These are the key areas that you want to look at. Number one, look at the shoulders. Make sure the shoulder point is actually at your shoulder point. If it starts to go down the arm, then realize you're wearing a t-shirt that is too big. Look in the chest area. You should have about anywhere from half an inch to up to two inches. Now, up to two inches, you're going to be a pretty big guy and you maybe want an extra bit of wiggle room and you like a little bit loose. But beyond that, if you are a relatively small guy, you're five foot six, maybe 120 pounds, you don't want two inches. You want half an inch there because you want this to actually fit your body and look great. Now, one of the issues with t-shirts is actually the drop. Many of them, it's a straight drop. But for many of us who look great in a t-shirt, you want to make sure that the chest is actually going to be a little bit bigger than the waist. So, it's got that V tape right there. Now, there's a company right here, Muscle Fit Basics. Um, guys, they're not a sponsor of this. I've just known them for a long time. RMRS20 if you decide to go grab a shirt so that they know that you came over from me. But I love what these guys have done with basically their t-shirts. They are made to fit men who are thin, who have a muscular build, who basically want something that's got a bit of a drop. And I think that that's one of the key points to looking great in a t-shirt to not have six inches of excess fabric in and around the waist area to maybe have, you know, inch and a half, two inches around the waist area. It depends on how you like it. But that right there is going to give off a natural V shape, which is going to look great. Moving on, let's talk about the sleeve length. 
So you're gonna wanna make sure that you've got the rule of thirds here. So I like it when you've got about one third right there and then two thirds all the way to the elbow. If it all of a sudden it goes to the halfway point, that's okay if it goes beyond the halfway point closer to the elbow. You wanna be careful. That's something I've seen on a few shirts. I don't think it looks really that great on most men. Next, let's talk about the length of the shirt. And I'm just gonna show you guys. So step up right here. Okay, I raise my arms up above my head and you see how high it goes? It doesn't show my abdomen, doesn't show my belly button or anything like that. This fits pretty well. Now, you also don't want the shirt to go down below your crotch area ever. So this right here to me is about a great length of a t-shirt. I also like to have a little bit of extra constriction stretch around here so it sits there. Finally, guys, let's talk about the neck. So on a crew neck shirt, which is this style right here, you wanna make sure that it fits closely to the neck and it's got some elastic right here so it always comes back to its original shape. V-necks in general, I love them. I think especially if a man takes care of his upper body and he's got a nice build, a V-neck is gonna give it a nice masculine shape. Just avoid those really deep neck V-necks. That's something that isn't gonna look great on any man tip number four, make sure you get the right fabric. So guys, understand the history of t-shirts. They come out of undershirts. Undershirts are typically lightweight and see-through. You want to make sure your t-shirt is not see-through. That's not a t-shirt. That's an undershirt. And don't try to wear that as an outer garment. That is underwear. So hold it, get that t-shirt, hold it up to the light. Can you see through it? On a darker colored t-shirt, you shouldn't be able to see through it. You shouldn't be able to see the light in the background. White shirts, you want to really make sure that it's a bit heavier weight. Cotton is a great fabric. You'll find jersey weaves, weaves that actually bounce back but are still tight enough that they're not going to allow just, you know, light to go right through easily. So I talked about the different fabrics up there. Cotton is going to be great, various weaves of that. Make sure though, if you go with a synthetic or performance fabric, it doesn't look too casual. A lot of those are of sports shirt designs. They're made to be worn to the gym, not necessarily with a pair of jeans or chinos, and it may just look too casual for that combination. So let's wrap up fabric by talking about colors. White, classic, although it's going to be, in my opinion, one of the more casual ones out there. I like darker colored tees. I find that I can actually, they're more forgiving. If you got a little bit of weight around the midsection, it creates a monochromatic look. So you can go with a gray, which is non-color and it's gonna match pretty much any pair of trousers, chinos, anything like that, jeans. Uh, or you can go maybe with a dark blue and navy. That's gonna look great. But you know, some of you guys for the summer, maybe you're a younger man, you wanna bring out something that is brighter colored. You've got darker tones. Uh, let's look at well, maroon, dark green. There are a lot of options, but I do like staying solid, staying away from graphic tees. I like to go with something that simply looks great and can be dressed up, dressed down. And that takes me to my final point, number five, surround the shirt with style. What do I mean by this? I mean, look at everything that you're going to be wearing in this outfit and make sure that those items are a step up. So let's start with your shoes. I talked about these the other day, JL Rocha, Beautiful pair of dress boots come from the combat design, so they've got a nice rubber sole here, get a lot of traction. This is gonna look great as your foundation. Then you move up, you bring in maybe a dark pair of denim. You upgrade now that light stone wash stuff you've been wearing since the 1990s. Now go with something that fits you great and actually is a darker color, or maybe you like the lighter colors. Then look at this canvas pair, this canvas pair of chinos right here right there in khaki color, or you want to go with brick. The ones I'm wearing from Woody's, I'll link to them down in the comments. They got a cool Kickstarter going on, but I find that this color works great. I can wear it actually, and I am actually wearing it with a pair of JL Rocha boots. So bring that combination together. So you got the shirt here, bring in a nice pair of sunglasses. Look at that club masters here. Look great. What do you guys think? Nice watch, maybe a bracelet. Make sure your hair's looking good. Take care of your grooming. Guys, it all goes into the outfit. And that is how you look great in a t-shirt. Now, there are other things I didn't mention in this video. Go check out the article. I go into more detail there. I maybe talk a little bit about posture and how standing correctly can actually make you look better in a t-shirt. And all the shirts I talked about, again, guys, link over to Muscle Fit Basics. Why don't you go check them out? Good company. Use the code RMRS20, get you 20% off. And uh, they're actually very affordable. They fit great. I'm going to give you some alternatives to t-shirts. And the reason I do this is I feel t-shirts are overplayed as a fashion item. And I think that guys can really look better in a number of different items. So really quick, 
definitely check out the polos. This one from Ministry of Supply, great company. It's made from a performance fabric with the collar. It looks great and it is actually just as comfortable, if not more comfortable than a t-shirt. Another shirt from Ministry Supply. What I like about this one is it actually has these little holes here in the armpit area that allow venting. It's made from a stretch material. My favorite travel shirt. And guys, when I wear this, I mean, I just roll up the sleeves. Maybe it's a little bit hot on the airplane. I think it's more versatile and I think it looks great. This shirt right here from Suit Supply made from a very lightweight fabric is actually going to be more breathable than the t-shirt I'm actually wearing. I wear with a lightweight performance undershirt and 95 degree weather, I can wear this, I can look great, I'll just roll the sleeves up. Guys, it comes down to confidence. When you are confident in how you're dressing, whether it be a t-shirt, whether it be a button down, whether it be a polo, guys, find what works for you, practice wearing it, and move forward with confidence. That's it guys, let me know what you think in the comments and I'll see you in the next video.